What's up guys, today we're gonna be Dad Tanning Man Bros. And we're gonna show you the not cleaning dishwasher problem. So if your dishwasher is not fully cleaning the dishes, this is your solution. Sometimes when this happens, the dishwasher needs to be clean. And if you guys are liking this video just a little bit, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more awesome future adventures. It's free and it would tremendously help our channel grow. To start, take the trays out of the dishwasher. And this is how you do it. It's simple but tricky. On the side of the cap, there's this part that you need to press then pull to take it out. Sometimes it might be tricky depending on how long it was there, so be careful. Once you've done that, start taking the trays out. That way you will have a clearer space to work. take out the centerpiece you do this by turning the part left and it will come right out while holding the centerpiece and once you're done with that just start taking the back part of the sprayer out all you need is a drill or a screwdriver. Just be careful when you're using a drill. You don't want to break any of the parts. Then you will have a bigger mess. Next, we're going to take out the line of the sprayers. And again, be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to break them. And next, take out the three screws around the middle using again this drill bit and if you're finding this video helpful do us a favor and hit that like button it would seriously help our channel grow and if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to leave us a comment and we'll try to do our best to answer your question And once you take that one out, there's going to be a little screw under the arm. Take that one out too, and then you'll be able to take out the center cap off. Once you take off that cap, you can already see how dirty it is. Look at that mess. It's been there for months. Now take a look of everything that was inside there. No wonder the dishwasher wasn't working correctly. We found a bunch of things there, including a broken glass piece. Next, start taking the screws to take this part out. If you take that screw out, wiggle the cap and it will come out. This is easier than it looks. If we can do it, you can do it. And look at how much nasty stuff is in there. Alright guys, now it's time to take all the debris out and clean everything as best as you can. And look at how much nasty stuff we took out from there. And after you do all the cleaning, we're going to use vinegar and Clorox. We mix them both and put it in the sprayer. And then we sprayed all the parts that we wanted to clean. Make sure to spray it all around and let it sit for around 2 minutes. After that, put baking soda all over the parts. This process will make it a lot easier to clean. Now grab a little brush or a toothbrush and scrub it. Once you've done that, spray again on top of the baking soda. This will activate the baking soda and make a foamy solution. Let us sit for a few minutes while you clean the rest of the parts. And you can do this using the same solutions you used before. Normally, you would use the sprayer from your sink, but since ours didn't have the right pressure, we had to use our hose. Pressure works better to take off all the nasty stuff from the dishwasher parts. Now, take this part out and clean it before putting it back together. Once you finish cleaning all the parts, put it back together. 
and we're going to show you the process to make it easier for you. Make sure all parts are in place and fit correctly to have your dishwasher work properly. Now put the screws back in place. Make sure that it fits correctly and that everything is in place. And again, if you're using the drill, make sure you do it slowly and soft. Now it's time to put the centerpiece back in its place. Once you've done that, put the screws back together. Remember, we do tutorials on things you might need in your daily life. But mainly, we blog our adventures and vacations. And show you amazing places, so don't forget to check out our channel and subscribe. Now put the centerpiece of the cap, and then the sprayer arm. Now that the sprayer lines are back together, secure them with the screws. Remember, if you're doing it with the drill, do it slowly because you don't want to break the parts. And now to put this piece back together, use the same process on how you took it out, but this time move it to the right till you fill it back in place. Now just make sure that everything's nicely placed together. Once you've done everything, start putting the trays back together. And here, don't forget to put the security caps back in its place. This will keep the tray from falling accidentally. And remember, we're not pros, we're just showing you how it works for us. But you're doing this at your own risk. And once you finish the process without the dishes, run the dishwasher on cleaning mode. That way you can give it a good pre-clean. Once the cleaning is done, put in some dishes and then give it a run. It worked for us, so it might work for you, cause our dishes now come out pretty clean. For better performance of your dishwasher, try to do this every six months to prevent the dishwasher from not working properly. And if you guys are liking this video just a little bit, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more awesome future adventures. It's free and it would tremendously help our channel grow. And if you're new here and don't know who we are, we are just pros who travel with their parents and show you fun and adventurous places. And in some cases, help you out with tips and hacks. Life is beautiful, so come see you with Dose Bros. Dose Bros, we out! Bye bye brothers, see you in the next video!